This agreement could be a game changer. Um, it could wake up the rest of the world, particularly the emerging markets, and show that the United States and Europe still remain very powerful economic entities, not only individually, but collectively. So when you look at trade, you look at forward direct investment, capital flows, really leading the way still today are the United States and Europe. It's not China, it's not India. So I think this trade agreement, if successful, and that's a big if, could be a wake-up call for the rest of the world that the United States and Europe still matter. They, of course they do because they're so economically large. But if we can set standards, harmonization across various industries, public procurement, automobiles, agriculture, and so forth, the rest of the world will have to follow along. And they'll want to follow along because the United States and Europe would kind of reinstate how dynamic they are. TTIP means a lot to Ireland because Ireland is the bridge by which a lot of U.S. multinationals here invested in Ireland access the European Union. So if we have a trade agreement that helps bring down technical barriers, non-tariff barriers, and barriers in of themselves, that's going to create a lot more business, uh, more trade, more investment. And you've seen a concentration of U.S. foreign direct investment in the European Union, with Ireland clearly one of the front runners. It's Netherlands, the UK, and Ireland. So the more trade and investment flows between the United States and Europe, the better you're going to see that flows come via vis-a-vis -vis Ireland. The key obstacles of any trade agreement are political. I really think it's going to be a tough sell uh, in the United States. It's going to be a tough sell in the European Union. Uh, encouragingly, growth is picking up in the United States. EU is coming out of recession. We need the unemployment rates to come down on both sides of the, of the Atlantic Ocean so that this agreement can be sold and, and, and brought forth, educated to the population. So there's going to be tough negotiations around agriculture, tough negotiations around private data, um, security issues. Uh, financial services. There's plenty of hurdles, but I think with the right foresight, educating the population, and a good backdrop when it comes to trade and investment, this deal can be done.